Nira? Hello, Mama. Nira! I'm so glad to see you. I thought you were dead. Uh, what about your father? Is he here too? He's here, Mama. Both of us are always here. I don't understand. This place is so beautiful. But what is it? How did I get here? You don't need to worry about that, Mama. All that matters is you're here. And I'm glad, because I have something to tell you. Something to tell me? You need to look inside the flowers. Will you remember that, Mama? Look inside the flowers. That's all. Wait, you can't go. Goodbye, Mama. Nero, please, don't leave me. Arwen! Arwen, we have a problem here. A big problem. Well, what do you want me to say? Why can I never keep a sword in one piece? No, I didn't believe there was a dragon. Since Arwen's not using this at the moment. And yes, there really was one. Happy? Your turn to be surprised, dragon. See, I can admit when I'm wrong. It just doesn't happen very often. We've since come to understand, or at least accept, why Aiden's bow only works for Arwen. Which goes a long way to explaining why it was given to her and not me. I missed. But I never miss. And why no explosion? At the time, though, oof, it wasn't a lesson I was terribly enthused about learning. Come on, give me something here. I'm not gonna last very long tossing coins at it. This looks a little more promising. We also found out how the dragon actually got into the cavern when Arwen and I were barely able to squeeze through the passageway. The lake was fed by an underground river that surfaced leagues away. The front door was big enough. She just got wet every time she used it. Even if it is like pricking a horse with a toothpick. Sand breathes fire. Oh, better and better. Little man! Where have you gone? That was a bit close, thank you. Come out! Come out! Get in! I was more concerned with how I could avoid being burned alive. But I suppose if I'd stopped to ponder how the dragon could be calling me by name. I might have put the pieces together a little sooner. Or not. That kind of conclusion isn't really a natural leap, is it? So maybe this sword's a keeper. Start calling me Dragon Slayer. in the flowers. Gareth? Gareth, I found the... Wait, where's the dragon? You're not going to believe this. In fact, I don't believe it, and I saw it happen. But that's the dragon. That's Shiara. I don't understand. How did she get down here? I'm telling you, Arwen. I wounded the dragon, and it turned into her, right in front of me. And your bow stinks. I couldn't hit the ocean from the beach with it. By the way, are you all right? I'm fine. Better than fine. Gareth, I found it. I found the fragment. I had a dream, or a vision. 
but... I really don't know what I had, but my daughter told me where to look. Your daughter? But how could that... You... What did you do to me? To be perfectly honest, that's not the first time I've had a naked woman ask me that. But in an entirely different context. And with a good deal more admiration involved. Don't do anything sudden like turn into a giant monster. You've got a pretty face, but don't count on that saving you. Now what are you anyway? I've had worse surprises from women, but that was right up there. I was a lot fonder of the green-eyed brunette than the green-eyed monstrosity. Apparently, the wound was enough of a shock to her system that it changed her back. I'm just a girl you met in a tavern. That's the kind of answer that'll get you hurt. I'd wager I can have two feet of this blade sticking out of your back before you sprout wings and start breathing fire. So mind your tongue. What did you do with my dog? Nothing. He's safe with the horses. And since you're so insistent, I'm exactly what I appear to be. A dragon who can take on the appearance of a woman. Or perhaps a woman who can take on the appearance of a dragon. Why don't we consider that my secret? Putting aside the myriad questions I have about how that's even possible, let's get to the obvious. Why bring us here? Why lead us to your treasure? For that, if it's what you say it is, it's the rarest of all treasures. A bow doesn't strike me as especially useful to a dragon. Look around you. Dragons covet. It is our nature. When I approached you at the inn, I thought at best you might add a few baubles to my hoard, but then I saw you use the bow. So the great beast is nothing more than a petty thief. You assume this shape and lure travelers to their deaths. And it's always worked. Until now. You were more resilient than most of my guests. You lived long enough to find that. This? Why did this hurt you and my other blade just shattered against your hide? What's special about it? It's called Serpent's Bane. It was forged centuries ago, the steel tempered with dragon's blood. It's especially potent against my kind, and my kind cannot destroy it. It came into my possession and I kept it here, safe from human hands until you found it. Well then, I've got a sword. Arwen, you've got what you want. What do we do with her? I have an offer. This is what we came for, the first of the five fragments. I told you the story. When all five fragments are found and reunited, Aiden will return and bring about Mordath's downfall. Frankly, I don't care how Mordath is destroyed, only that he is. And something as powerful as a dragon might well be able to put an end to him. You expect me to care who rules the Five Lands? Do you think you'll be able to hide here forever? Eventually, Mordath will turn his attention to you. This is a battle you'll be forced to fight one day. Why not fight it when you choose to? Arwen, which part of this actually sounds good to you? We can't trust her. She tried to kill us. You seemed a good deal more trusting of her last night when she was batting her eyes at you, Gareth. What are you worried about? You've got that sword to keep her in line. You need another reason, Shiara. How's this? The bow is yours when this is finished. Her bow and whatever of Mordath's treasure you want to keep. Do we have a bargain? I've never liked to involve myself in the affairs of men. But yes, for the bow, we have a bargain. You can hardly blame Arwen for grasping at what seemed to be a solution. The easy path is always the most tempting. Good. Mordas castle lies to the east, near the border of Midlin and Grinball. Can you transport us there? I can't believe we're actually doing this. This time, I was the one saying the whole notion was a bad idea. Do I look like a pack animal? All right, then we'll go by horseback and cut across the plains rather than taking the road. You'll cover more ground than we will. 
but we'll be there. I want to see with my own eyes that Mordeth is dead. Unfortunately, it turned out I was right. Oh, I think you can count on that. They can't be far ahead now, Captain. We're closing on them once the humans at the inn were properly motivated. They were most happy to tell us they knew of our quarry. We're fortunate to have picked up their trail again. And well for us that we did. Lord Mordath won't tolerate another failure on our... Oh, I hear something. Eyes of Mordath! <laughs> Steady! I've never seen such a beast, Captain Ball. What was it? A oh, great serpent, as has not been seen in Grinbor in three lifetimes. I'd come to think they were more fancy than fact. But why did it ignore us, Captain? Where does it go? We are obviously not its prey. It travels east. Toward Mordath's castle. <laughs> 